we're going to install Linux Mint alongside this edition of Windows 10. We're going to right click on the start button and go to disk management. And here we are, there's our disk, which is currently disk zero. We can see we've got a system partition, a C drive that's about 200 gigabytes, and we've got a recovery partition. We're going to install Linux Mint onto the C drive. Well, we'll actually what we're going to do is cut the C drive in half or thereabouts and install Linux Mint alongside. To do this, you'll need to go to linuxmint.com and click download and the latest version at the time of this recording is 19.3 so we'll click on that we've got three desktops to choose from Cinnamon, Matei and XFCE if you're not sure which one uh, probably start with Cinnamon is the the flagship if you're on older or lower powered hardware uh, you might want to go with XFCE anywhere in between go with the Matei desktop but yeah, most likely your computer will handle that Cinnamon 64-bit OK. So click on that, download it and save it. You'll also need a way of getting that onto a, either a USB or a DVD so you can boot from it. This is the easiest utility that I've seen to burn that file onto a USB drive is uh, Etcher. We go to this address up the top here, or if you just search for Etcher, you can see it's detected we're on a Windows system, so you click download for Windows. Save the file. I'm going to cancel because I've already done it. And then just double click that file and go next, next, next. And you'll be pretty right to go. If you don't have a USB drive, you can probably right click and go burn disk image. And if you put in a, uh, a blank DVD into your burner you'll probably get uh, success that way once you've got etcher installed you select the image so if we go to our downloads and you look for the the uh, linux uh, in this case linux mint file you select that plug in your usb drive and then it should detect it here and that's critical to make sure that it selects the right drive because it's going to erase whatever drive it selects there so make sure you get if it's drive D or E, whatever it might be, make sure you select the right one there. Then you hit flash, it'll take five or ten minutes, it'll go through a couple of different processes and you should be pretty right to go after you've done that. I've already done all that, I'm ready to go, so I'm going to cancel out of that and we'll reboot and start the uh, Linux Mint live session. This is our USB drive booting up with Linux Mint on it, so we'll come back when we get up to the live Linux desktop. Here we are up to the live Linux desktop and we can tell it's the live Linux because it's got the install icon on it. Uh, other than that it pretty much looks like Linux Mint looks. Once you're happy with uh, the way that it works on your computer, that everything works the way you want it to, you double click the install icon. We work our way through the installer. So choose your language keyboard layout I recommend taking this it'll save you a bit of problems later on playing videos and other general day-to-day -day things and now we need to make some choices we can see that uh, the installer has detected this computer has Windows 10 on it and it's giving us an option to install alongside Windows 10 we're going to erase the disk or do something else. In this case, we're going to leave it on its default, which is install Linux Mint alongside Windows 10, and we'll continue. And now we get to choose how much drive space we want to give to Windows or to Linux. So we can see this is Linux on the right, and this is Windows on the left. And it's offering us 120 gigabytes for Windows and 93 for Linux. We can put the mouse in the middle and we can move more one way or less the other, whichever we want to do. You don't want to go too far one way or the other. You want to make sure both of them have got sufficient. So we'll just go with about what it suggested there. So we've got 120 and 90 odd. And we'll go install now. This is telling us it's going to have to write changes to the disk. So there's no undo operation for this. 
uh, this is the point of no return so you can either go back or we can continue which we're going to do and we hit continue a second time choose your location that's pretty good for my current location somewhere near Melbourne you can actually click on the map or you can type type the location down there we give ourselves a name we'll give the computer a name and we'll put a password in and you can log in automatically I don't recommend it uh, you can encrypt your home folder if you want but I'm just going to run with the defaults that'll take five or ten minutes we'll pick it back up at the finish and there we are we're done we'll hit restart there's no point hanging around in here now so we'll restart the system and remove the USB or DVD and press enter this is our boot menu after installing Linux Mint alongside Windows 10 you see we've got Linux Mint at the top and we use the down arrow on the keyboard there's our Windows 10 so come up to Linux Mint and press enter the login screen so we'll put in our password and there we have our fresh install of Linux Mint if we go to the file manager we can see this is our home directory with all our files and folders there we can see down here 121 gigabyte volume that will be Windows and they look like Windows files and folders to me uh, unfortunately you can't do this back the other way Windows cannot read the Linux file system so we'll go into Windows in a moment and have a look at that we'll also start the disks utility you may remember from the start of the video that we had a, a Windows system partition way on the left and another one over on the right and that's just a little bit of free space at the end there you can ignore that so there's our two original uh, system and recovery petitions there for Windows and Windows was using the, all of this space in here before and now it's just got 120 instead of 200 gigs and this is our Linux system over here and the extended petition that it's uh, running within there so we'll boot into Windows and have a look from the other end there And see the timer running at the bottom there if we use the down arrow that'll stop the count the uh, countdown and we can come down to Windows 10 and we'll boot up to Windows and have a look log into Windows we'll go back into the disk management utility and once again this is our system reserved and our recovery petition on the extreme left and right and here's our C drive that was using all of this space before and you can see now we've got this nearly 90 gigabytes here which is Linux and there's our C drive which is now about 113 gigabytes whereas before it was using all of that space so there's there's Windows there's Linux if we go to the file manager you'll note that there's no mention of the the Linux system in the file manager because it actually can't read the the Linux file system at all the disk management unit can see the petition but the Windows file explorer doesn't really know anything about it there's Windows 10 with Linux Mint installed alongside it in dual boot mode 